Happy Wednesday, everyone. Here are the daily announcements. Please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, for liberty and justice for all. Good morning, Frankfort High School. I'm Lily, and this is Richard. For lunch today, lines one and two, we'll have taco scoops, line three, salad bar and broccoli. Line four, taco snack, and line five will be Big Daddy Pizza. There'll be no birthdays today. Now to weather with Haley. It is 38 degrees today. Tomorrow, expect a high of 60 with a chance of rain. Now back to the studio. Parent-teacher conferences tonight from 5 to 6.30. Pick up your student's report card and talk to the teachers. Their teachers will be in their classrooms to meet with, with parents. We will have a student council meeting today during community in Mrs. Hale's room. We have a lot to discuss. Please be prompt. This is for all student council members, not just officers. Also, anyone interested in working crew for big broadcasts, there will be a call out today during community. Academic Super Bowl team call out meeting will be Friday, January 12th in room 221 at 2.48 p.m. This year's topic will be World War I. If you're interested in art, music, math, science, history, or literature, uh, see or email Senor Fortner for details. Friday, January 12th is the last day to be able to purchase laptop insurance for this school year. The insurance will be $25 and can be paid at the FHS bookstore by cash, check, or credit. Don't miss that. There will be a chance to audition. There's a change to audition dates for big broadcasts. Auditions will be Tuesday and Wednesday, January 16th and 17th at 3 o'clock in the theater. All performances must be no longer than three minutes and show ready. In order to be in the show, you must audition. There will be no submission exceptions after January 17th. If you have any questions, please see Mr. Taylor. Applications are now open for both Hoosier Girls and Hoosier Boys State. If you have an interest in the leadership, government, and politics, and are a junior girl or boy in good academic standing, apply in student services by January 17th to attend Hoosier Girls or Boys State this summer. Girls and boys at doubleheader on Friday will be the coaches, coaches versus Cancer game. There are t-shirts available in the bookstore to support the cause. A huge thank you to Mr. Fortner's community students for filling buddy bags today. Shout out to Alex Mattia, Mattia sorry, for creating the buddy bag menu week 17. In girls basketball action, the varsity fell to Rossville 39-35. Riley Seibert had 16 points, and Kimi Kima had 8. On the other hand, the JV girls beat Rossville 28-26. Liz Sandoval had 13 points to lead the JV in scoring. Last night, the Hot Dog Wrestlers team honored the senior wrestlers and managers as they prepared to host the Western Panthers. In JV action, the Dogs won all three matches by pin. A congratulations goes out to Josue Antonio, Jordan Ortiz, and Oliver Lopez. The varsity ended up losing the Panthers 70-6. to Devin Anderson was the lone winner. Also, a reminder that the track and field call-out is Thursday at the end of the day. Please meet at the stairs at 3 o'clock. If you're a winter sport athlete, you do not need to attend. Just let Mr. Salee know that you are interested. If you cannot make the meeting, please let Mr. Salee know beforehand. That's it for sports. Now back to the studio. News stands for notable events, weather, and sports. There, that's the thing you know now. Thanks for watching. We'll see you tomorrow. Thank you.